What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are using a Pokemon that you never see on the Col or in the Coliseum or on the rank ladder. We got ourselves a Spear Tomb team today. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring those notification bells to stay up to date on all of my videos. Considering we have uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet coming out rather soon, you guys do not want to miss out on any of my content. But like I said, we are getting started here with Spear Tomb with today's team preview. And it is such a cool Pokemon. Just look at his design. I just think it looks absolutely amazing. It's a ghost and dark type. And we give it the Citrus Berry as an item. And then he's got the Infiltrator ability with the EVs boosted in special attack and HP. Really cool Pokemon. Cannot wait to use them on that uh, in the Coliseum. Or I should say rank battles. Whatever you guys want to call these battles. But uh, move set for this guy is going to be Dark Pulse. We give it Shadow Ball for stab. Nasty Pop to set up that special attack boost and protect. But... As you guys can tell, its speed is rather low, 75. So it's going to be a Trick Room Pokemon. And to pair up with him, we got ourselves our second Pokemon. We got ourselves Bronzong over here with Trick Room, Gyro Ball, Hypnosis, and Protect. Ability for this guy is going to be Levitate, and then item it is holding is at Mental Herb, so it cannot be taunted. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be Weavile. Weavile is going to be for the other side of the team when we're not using Trick Room. This thing is really, really good at Fake Outs. It's really good at Speed Control, all that good stuff. It's got the Focus Sash as item. Ability is going to be pressure, and the moveset is fairly normal for any Weavile with Fake Out, Ice Punch, Icy Wind, and Night Slash. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is Gyarados. Really cannot go wrong with Gyarados. Such a good Pokemon all around, and I just love him so much in BDSP. It's got Waterfall, it's got Ice Fang, it's got Dragon Dance and Protect. Ability is obviously going to be Intimidate, and last but not least, the item it is holding is going to be that Lumberry. Fifth Pokemon is another Pokemon just like Gyarados, a very strong Pokemon that you cannot go wrong with. It is going to be Scissor over here. Life Orb as item, ability is going to be Technician, and then moveset is fairly normal like you guys see with any Scissor. Bull Punch, X Scissor, Sword Dance, Protect, it is legit the best moveset for any Scissor in BDSP. Final Pokemon is going to be my Arcanine build. I absolutely love this Arcanine build. I just feel like it's so good at controlling the battle with Will-O-Wisp, Intimidates for physical attackers, and Snarl for special attackers. Flamethrower protect as its other two moves. Ability is going to be Intimidate. And then last but not least, the item it is holding is that lovely little Aguaf Berry so it can get some HP back when it falls below, I believe, 1 4th HP, which is pretty solid. It is definitely pretty solid. But guys, this is the Spiritomb team. Let's hop to that Coliseum. Look to grab some wins with it. First match coming at you guys for today's video. We're going up against a really cool team. This guy is rocking probably Sandvale Garchomp with Sandstream Hippowdon. And then he has uh, Gyarados, Jolteon, Storm Drain, Gastrodon, and Crobot. So how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like Bronzong with Trick Room alongside with Spirit Team can really get us rocking here. So I might end up leading both these Pokemon. I might end up leading both these guys. I mean, I definitely want to bring in like Gyarados or like Weavile because we are super effective up against a lot with the Ice Fang. So I think Gyarados is going to give us a bit more value. So we're going to go with him and then final Pokemon. I think we can just bring Arcanine. Arcanine or Scissor? I mean, Arcanine's pretty solid here. I really do like him, but I feel like Scissor we're going to get a bit more value out of. So I am going to lock in the Scissor, and we're going to get after it here in battle number one. But this guy is rocking a really cool team. Using Hippowdon instead of Titar, and a little versatility towards his team. I love it so much. I love it so much. But yo, leaks are coming out for uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, and it's just getting me so excited. I cannot wait to see the uh, starter evolutions, and then finally pick my starter. Because right now, I'm going with Fue Coco, but I always wait till I see the final evolutions first, and then I choose off of that. But dude, I love leak season when it comes out like a month before the game or a couple weeks before the game. Everything starts to be leaked and you kind of get like a nice little teaser. You don't really like get any spoilers or anything. You just get a nice little teaser and shows you what the game's all about. It's just such a good time of the year. It's such a good time of the year and I absolutely love it. This guy ends up leading Intimidate Gyarados. It's totally fine with rocking some special attackers. He's going to go in with Crobat here as well. But I think this is going to be an easy Trick Room setup. We just go into Trick Room and Protect with uh, Spirit Tomb. Or I could honestly go into... So I'm really thinking of doing I'm honestly thinking of just going into a nasty plot here. But you know what? I'll go for it. I'll go for the plot. I would love to go for the nasty plot. Hopefully one of his Pokemon's protect. That would be awesome. Or maybe he just doubles down in Bronzong thinking that I'm protecting the Spirit Doom. Which I was going to do. But I was like, screw it. Let's set up a nice lovely nasty plot. Try to get things rolling with Spirit Doom. Because this Pokemon is so cool. So he's going to go for Hypnosis Bronzong dodge. That's a huge dodge. Waterfall's going to come out here. And he's going to go after Spirit Tomb, which Spirit Tomb soaks rather well. Good thing we did end up going for a nice spot. That was amazing that we actually were able to dodge that move. 
Big time plays. So we still have our Scissors Barry, which is great. Our special attack is boosted. Bronze Knight is going to pop the Trick Room, and now we have Speed, which is just... Mwah. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful, but it's a shame that he actually ended up missing his... Uh, his what's it called? His uh, Hypnosis. But I'm going to go for Hypnosis on the Gyarus. Hope I can land mine, and then I'm just going to go for... Probably a Dark Pulse, because we have a chance to flinch, so maybe this thing is Focus Ash. But we're just going to get straight after this Crobat. We are plus two on that special attack, which we love. We love it. We love it. Little old Spirit Team in the Trick Room. Ooh. Ooh. Thing's heating up. He's heating up, baby. Let's see what this guy ends up doing. He could end up swapping the Gyarados, saving this Intimidate for later. Could be a decent play. Could be a decent play, but Hypnosis with the Crobat. We had a little bit of luck there. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. I will take it all day. This guy's taking a while to make a move, which I understand. I mean, we're in a decent position here. He's kind of in a little bit of a hole. And we have a nasty plot set up, so we'll see what he wants to do. He ends up protecting the guy. Jump all about. Spirit Team's going after a Crobat. Bonsai goes for the Hypnosis. It gets blocked. Hopefully this thing's not Sash and we can just dump on it. We go for the lovely little Dark Pulse. Oh, he looks so cool when he uses a move. He looks so cool. We don't even pick up the KO. And he misses another Hypnosis. I'm sorry, buddy. I really am sorry. I'm sorry about this guy. We do some big damage on the Crobat. We don't end up picking up the KO, and I'm just gonna do the same thing over onto the game slot. Straight up Dark Pulse, running through it. Let's get it. Let's do it, baby. We're doing some big time damage. Love me some Spirit. Love me some Spirit Tomb. He's gonna go for a Protect here. That's totally fine. We're going after Gyarados now. Really think my Spirit Tomb's gonna go after you again like that? It ain't happening. It ain't happening. We know Gyarados can't KO us. We have uh, Citrus Berry as well. So if he wants to hit us with another Waterfall, that's totally fine with me. We go into that and we do some big damage on him. And he's going to pop a berry of his own. A lovely berry of his own. But yo, my boy's doing some work. Spirit Tomb's doing some work right now. Spirit Tomb is doing some work. But I wonder if he's going to go into... Oh, we get the flinch. Oh my lord, the flinch is awesome. The flinch is amazing. Alright, another Gyro Ball. And I think we just do the same thing, right? Shadow Ball looks cool, but Dark Pulse also looks cool. And it has a chance to flinch. So I'm just going to keep rolling into Dark Pulses. You give me no reason not to. I'd rather have the flinch chance and the special defense drop chance. I am cool with that. Yo, my ear keeps itching, bro. He's gonna protect Gyarados. That's totally fine. We're gonna take out your crow here. He's wasting out trick and turns. I'll give it to him. He is wasting out trick and turns. And he goes for double protect. It fails. It's fine by me. I'll go for Gyro Ball here. So Gyro Ball should be able to pick up the KO. I think I'm gonna try to put the Gyarados to sleep next turn with a Bronze on while we have maybe one more turn left in Trick Room. And then go Spirit Tomb onto the other slot, right? Yeah, I think just one more turn left in Trick Room. So if I can put that Gyarados to sleep, I can do some big damage to Jolteon. And then on top of that, we can go into a trick room the next turn. I'm all about it. So we go for the hypnosis, send it that way. And I think we'll just rock another Dark Pulse. Like I said, I'd rather have the flinch chance than a special defense drop. I'm just going to roll out with it that way. Hopefully we can land our hypnosis. This guy's 0-2, so it means hypnosis luck is somewhere out there. Somebody's, like, a hypnosis land is due. And there it is. This guy's definitely freaking out. Battle throw is switched to the wall. <laughs> He's like, I missed two hypnosises, but Gene just throws one out there and it lands. Yeah, this dude's upset. But Dark Pulse is going to fly here. Spirit Tomb's getting some work done right now. Getting some big damage. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. This guy would be so upset if we get the flinch. Oh my lord, yo. RNG, stop it. That's gone. We're going to pop Trick Room again. We're going to say, hey, yo, here you go. There's another Trick Room. And at this point, Jotel might even protect. So I'm just going to chip up some damage on you. I'm just going to chip up some damage on the Gyarados. But this guy might even quit. He might quit, yo. RNG is just not on his side. But Spirit Tomb... Doing some works. Nasty plot setup. Doing a lot of damage. Getting some flinches. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. If this guy hasn't protected a lot, we definitely could have two, maybe three KOs with that first trick room. But he's going to end up going for a yawn. He's going to yawn me. How dare you? I might just swap you after this. I might just swap him after this. Garrus wakes up. Son of a biscuit. He's going to go for a waterfall. That's fine. And Spirit Tomb, who eats. And then we have a lovely little Citrus Berry. We should go back up to about half HP, right? Let's see. We might be able to eat up another waterfall from that HP right there. I think we can. But we're going to pop another Dark Pulse, do some mean damage there, and Trick Room is back out and about. We love it. We love it. <laughs> we love it. Gyro Ball should be able to kill this Gyarados, I think. So I'm going to send it that way. And <laughs> we're just killing it with these guys. And I'm just going to throw Shadow Ball because Shadow Ball looks cool as an animation move. But I think this dude quits, right? He's got to quit. He's got to be really upset. And I apologize for the for beating this guy off of RNG right now. It's not completely RNG that we would have, like, I, th I feel like we would have won this battle regardless of the flinches or not. But he's going to protect Gyarados. It's totally fine by me. We got the upper hand. We haven't protected once, I don't think. 
He double protects him. You coward. <laughs> you coward. You coward. It's all good. It's all good. He's going to protect it, make it go down to four turns of trick room. No big deal. And we'll just do the same exact thing next turn. You're not wasting out the trick. Oh, we won the yawn. Okay, uh, that's cool. I don't mind that. Um, I guess I'll just swap here. I'm just swapping a Skizzy. Oh, we're definitely swapping into my boy Skizzy. Skizzy and Trick Room rocks, dude. He's really, really good. So I'm just going to take out the Jolteon. We'll let the Gyarados do his thing. He's probably going to pop another Waterfall into my Spirit Tomb. It's no big deal. And we'll just save Bronzong for the back end. We'll save Bronzong for the back end. We're just, we're just outplaying this guy at this point. Swap in. He's going to withdraw the Gyarados. That's totally fine. We're taking out the Jolteon this turn. This is just a perfect, perfect turn of events. Perfect turn of events. I'm all, I'm all. I'm all in with it. Shadow Ball is going to fire. I'll say bye bye to you. And yo, he looks sick when he uses Shadow Ball. He like extends his, what is that? His neck? I don't even know what that is. He just shoots a ball of shadows. And I love the move animation. It goes like slow and then it just explodes. He's going to end up sending out Gyarados. I might just hard swap into my Gyarados. Actually, no, I have Scissor to take out him. So I'm just going to go Dark Pulse into uh, Garchomp. Scissor's just going to take out the Gary. And we're, we're fine with it. I'd rather go for an Axe Scissor. I know uh, Scissor is slower than all of them. So we'll do that. Go into the Chomp Chomp. The Chip Chomp Chomp Chomp. And this will pretty much be GG, right? I can't believe this dude hasn't canceled yet. I cannot believe he has not canceled yet. Let's see, he goes for the Protect. I was, I was going to make the read, but there was no point in making the read. I mean, it's not like he has like a fire move. Well, I, hopefully he doesn't have a fire move on the Garchomp. Plus Dark Pulse, we have a nice flinch chance, which we're probably going to get. Right? Show it to me. Show me the flinch chance. No, he goes there, and he's going to Swords Dance. It don't matter. It don't matter. He's going to protect the Garchomp this turn. We see it from Mawa. He might even go for Double Protect. Is this where I swap? No, I'm not even going to swap. There's no point. There's no point. We just we just do exactly what we do, and we just play it simple. But I think he protects the Garchomp. Tries to waste out tricking turns and all that good stuff. Yep, he goes for Double Protect, and Garchomp's going to protect now. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to swap out the uh, Scizor into... Garchomp, or not Garchomp, into Gyarados, and just have Spirit Tomb hit up on Gyarados, but again, I don't, I, there, there was no need to make a read there when we had such an upper hand in this battle, but x Scissor picks up the KO, this battle's over, he, he has to land maybe two more protects, one more protect, and I don't think he's gonna land it, I don't think he's gonna land it, oh, there goes Trick Room, that's fine, um, I could just do this, this is exactly what I'm gonna do, I'm, I want the sweep, I want the sweep, so I'm gonna swap. He's gonna look to go for an EQ, obviously, because that's like his last ditch effort. He's like, yo, I just need EQ sweep with the Sword Sand Squad job. But Scissor should be able to eat that up. Plus, he's only plus one now, so I think Scissor should be able to eat this up. X Scissor should be able to fight through here, and we should be able to win this game. With a sweep? With a nice sweep? This will be like one of my longest sweeps. This battle took a little bit, and we swept it. Right? X Scissor KOs? It does, yo. Let's go. Sweep with Spirit Tomb in battle number one. You guys gotta love it. Second match coming at you guys, and I decided to rematch our opponent because we had such a solid battle. Plus, I want to showcase the other side of this team. Last match, we went into the Spirit Tomb, and this time, I want to go into, like, the Weavile as a lead. Kind of take speed control that way, and then roll out from there. So, I'm going to go Weavile as a lead, and I might go Gyarados, but he does have Intimidate. And he does have Storm Drain. He has a lot. I could go, actually, Scissor. Scissor wouldn't be bad. Try to maybe set up a sword stance. Turn one. We know he has hypnosis on the crowbat. That is definitely a little scary, but I can fake it out. Oh no, it has inner focus. I could ice punch it and look for the KO that way. And maybe bull punch at the same time. That could be pretty good. But I'm gonna go in with scissor. I'm gonna bring Gyarados and Arcanine in the back end. I think that's gonna be pretty solid. I think we can win a battle off of that. So we'll go for it. If we lose this one, it's all good. I'm definitely gonna try to find another opponent in the third and final battle just so we get a little bit of switch up here. But he's gonna end up going Gary. How dare you go, Gary? That's a solid turn. So Gyarados pokes out here. I could go Icy Wind. I could go Fake Out. I mean, I think he just protects the, the Gyarados, right? I might just double down into this Crowbat, try to get rid of it. I mean, he could go for Hypnosis. You know, I'm gonna go for Swords Dance here. Try to get my try to get my attack back up. So I'm gonna go for an Ice Punch straight in there. I'm gonna say Gyarados maybe just protects. And I'm gonna Swords Dance my Scissor. Try to get rolling with him again. A dang Intimidate. I had a feeling he was leading the Gary. I had a feeling. And I didn't believe my gut. I didn't believe my gut. It's all good. It is all good. Let's see what he does. He's going to go straight for hypnosis into weave. Into my weave? Not my weave, Al. How dare you? How dare you do that? I'm surprised he actually outspeeds me. It's a fast crowbat. Could be no way's choice. I'm just going to dragon dance. That's a little scary. 
That is definitely a little scary. Just, just, just a little bit scary. Just a little bit. Okay. Um. Huh. What do I do from here? Swords answer plus one. I think we have to attack that guy at this point. You know that crowbat. He's gonna hypnosis me. Don't be like that. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy who just uses hypnosis every turn. Don't be him. Tony, don't be him. Go for another sword dance. I'm just gonna bull punch straight into Crobat. Get some damage off on him. With Technician. That Gyarados is scaring me. I want Weavile to wake up, because then I can swap it into Gyarados. Swap its attack stat. Ah. Uh, it's tough news. Tough news. Weavile is slumped. Hopefully, it can wake up this turn. It can have a one turn sleep. It, already, it was already asleep one turn, which is pretty solid. I'm gonna drop a bull punch here. Doing a decent amount of damage over on the Crobat. Wow, that's a lot of damage. He's so strong. Why Why is Why is Scissor this strong? Gyarados gonna go for a waterfall over into my Scissor. And Scissor's able to eat. Which is, and he's just gonna go for a cross poison, which you should be able to eat. Beautiful. And wake up, please. Weavile. 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 Crobat might protect. I think Crobat's gonna protect. I am not even gonna lie. And I'm gonna Icy Wind. And just pull a punch over into the Gyarados slot. Just to get off some damage. I think I think Crobat does protect here. I'm thinking I'm just dropping another bull punch into him. I'm gonna make a nice little read here. I'm not gonna get after it. But Weavile. I need you to wake up here, kind sir. Weavile can wake up, that could be nice. That could be real nice. Let's see. Yep, Crobat does protect. Nice read by Jeans. We slid our bull punch over just to do some nice damage on the Gyarados before he actually takes out my scissor. That's some nice damage. That's the definition of nice damage. And I think he goes into Waterfall into my Scissor, and maybe, just maybe, we can get off this Icy Wind here. Before we actually roll, or, uh, before my Weavile dies. That could be really good for us. So let's see, wake up, Weavile. Good turn. Good turn. Icy Wind's gonna fly here. We are going to drop the Gyarados' speed back to normal, and I should bring out a Pokemon that could take him out. Should definitely bring out a Pokemon that could take him out. Um, look at Gyarados. Gyarados isn't a bad turn. This thing is Citrus Berry, so it's gonna eat up. It's munching down. I should have known that from the last battle that was such a berry, but all good. I'm just gonna have to use it eventually. I could go on Arcanine. Arcanine's not bad. Just for burns and stuff, but Gyarados is obviously the play, right? Gary the Gyarados is obviously the play. So we're gonna go into Gyarados here. We're gonna bring his attack stat back down to normal. And oh, this is tough. This Gyarados is gonna be tough. His Gyarados is going to be a pain. It really is. I know he's gonna go for the hypnosis into me. And I am just going to go for. I mean, Icy Wind will KO the Crobat, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for Dragon Dance. I, I feel like Dragon Dance is a player. I mean, if he hypnosis me, it's totally fine. Oh, he's going to cross poison my Weavile. Okay. And he might set up a Dragon Dance here. I'm setting up a Dragon Dance, too. So I'll match him if he is. He goes for Dragon Dance. Or no, that's me going for Dragon Dance. When I go for Dragon Dance. I go plus one on attack, plus one on speed. And I really do wonder what he's doing here. I think he's going to go for Dragon Dance of his own. He does. So he matched Dragon Dance. I'm bringing out Arcanine, which is a really solid turn. And I need to get rid of that. I need to get rid of that Crobat. I need to get rid of that Crobat. So Intimidate's going to fly. You're going to bring it back down to normal. I think we just protect our Arcanine. And we take out the Crobat here. Intimidate's nice. Intimidate is a lovely little move. But his speed is still up high. So I feel like Protect here is going to be our play. Protect into... Oh. This is tough. I'm just going to Waterfall into the Crobat. I'm going to get rid of the Crobat here. I probably should have Ice Fanged, just in case he swapped into uh, Gashadon. But, I clicked it already. Just leaving the Crobat, let me pick up a KO. Let me pick up the nice, lovely KO here. Let's see. This Gyarados is going to be tough. I just realized, like, I realized my team has, like, really no value up against Gyaradoses. Gyarados can shred my teams. It's going to end up protecting the Bat. Not the Bat! Not the bat. Alright, so he protects the bat. Arcanine goes for the protect. I think he's gonna go for a waterfall into my Arcanine here. I don't think he's gonna make that read. So I go for a waterfall on this crow bat. So it's gonna be a neutral turn. I think it's a neutral turn, right? And he goes for a Hey! Yo! You can't do that! You're not allowed! You were not allowed to do that! It's in the rule book, rule 73A. No double dragon dances. <laughs> Imagine that was a rule. <laughs> in the Pokemon rule book. That would've been hilarious. But I'm just gonna go for a I guess I'm I don't know, dude. And I guess I'll ice wing this slot. It's tough. Waterfall comes through here. Bye bye, Arky. All day. Wow, dude. We're going to end up getting. Actually, we're not going to get swept here. Because he can go for hypnosis. We have Lumberry. We're not going to get swept, but that was a tough battle for us. 
Gyarados really, really did a sturdy, but Ice Fang's gonna fly here. We're gonna chip up some damage, we're gonna take out the Crobat. This battle's definitely not looking good for us because his Gyarados could beat me one on one. So I might just run it, or I can get it. Because he could protect the hit power on, and I could just start targeting down that, uh, that Gyarados. Maybe, just maybe, I can get a crit or something. Do me, do me good. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for the waterfall over into the Gyarados. I think Hip on may might protect. And I guess we'll go from there. But yeah, this this one's not looking good for us. Gyarados goes for Wow. That did some damage. Well, uh, he gets the crit. He gets the crit. There's a soul. He gets he gets the crit. That's lovely, isn't it? Hip on goes for a Thunder Fang. <laughs> A thunder fang on the hip out on takes me out. That's hilarious. But yeah, one and one for today's video so far. We're gonna hop into a third and final battle. Look for a new opponent and look for a winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. I left the Coliseum, came back, ended up finding the same exact opponent, but luckily he's using a different team, which is awesome. This guy's rocking Raichu, Azumarill. I could say it's Belly Drum Azumarill, and then he's got Pelipper, Blastoids, Dragonite, and Tauros over here. Okay. Do I pop Trick Room here? It could be a Trick Room kind of turn could definitely be a trick room kind of turn and I feel a sneeze coming too so I might have to sneeze <coughs> bless me thank me okay cool sneeze out the way we're ready to battle um I could go trick room with the spirit tumor and bronzong I could go in with weavile I feel like weavile is gonna be good here arcanine is definitely not good here I feel like trick rooms are playing we're gonna go in with the trick room squad he's probably gonna lead the raichu and maybe try to set up a belly drum that could be a problem belly jump could be a problem it could be a problem but I'm gonna go in with them too Gyarados? Is Gyarados coming here? I think we'll be, uh, Scissor and Gyarados. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. And we're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here in this third and final battle. Hopefully we can. It's kind of looking tough. Team Synergy's a little off. I kind of built this one rather quick. But, again, we're using off-meta Pokemon and we're having some fun with it. So I think he's gonna try to set up Belly Drum. And Pelipper's out here. Hmm. Pelipper is here. Lovely little Pelipper. And... They even set up the Trick Room? I might just go for it. Or I could double down into... No, I'm gonna go for the Hypnosis here. Hypnosis into maybe a Dark Pulse. I feel like we should just try to get rid of Azumarill, right? I feel like we should go after Azumarill here. I'm not gonna go for a Trick Room turn one. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Yo, look at Bronzong's little arms, dude. Kinda cracks me up. I guess for an Aqua Jet here, I'm cool with that. We're gonna be able to soak pretty well here. And Pelper's gonna go for Skull. Are you doubling down into me? How dare you? We're able to eat, which is gorgeous. No burns. Of course he gets the burn. Luckily, we're special attacking, so that's cool. Maybe he thought we were setting up a nasty spot. We are not. We're just going straight after this. Can I land this uh, hypnosis, please? This would be really good for us. Your team's going to go for Shadow Ball. Give me a special defense drop. Probably not going to do too much damage here. This little chunk. And we do get the special defense drop. That's big, that's big news for us. That's big news from us. And we're going to go for the hypnosis, which we land as well. So now I can pop a trick room. I could also protect my spirit team. But I think it's going to be my play. I'm just going to go from there. I don't mind that play. I do not mind. I mean, I could go for a... Uh, I could go for a... Uh, what's it called? Hmm. I could go for an nasty spot, but I feel like we just keep attacking this Azumarill at this point. Oh no, I should have protected. What am I doing? I said I was going to protect. What am I doing? Azumarill's going to be slumped. Helper's going to take me out with a Skull. This should have been an easy protect turn. But it happens. Yeah, it should have been an easy protect turn. Stupid jeans. You're better than that. Okay, I can bring out Scissor now, though. Which I really, really like. I'm going to say Azumarill is going to be asleep for one more turn. So I might set up a Sword Dance, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to set up the easy, easy, lovely little Sword Dance. We can see how much Gyro Ball can do. Or I can just go Gyro Ball into Pelper. But I'm going to go Gyro Ball into Azumarill. Hopefully it doesn't decent amount of damage. And then we can just Sword Dance from here. Lovely little swords dance. So bad play by Jeans there on that uh, last one. Of course this thing wakes up. Kind of annoying, but if you like that, he's gonna Aqua Jet into my Scissor. Scissor can eat decently well, and Bronzong's gonna Gyro Ball. Of course he wakes up, man. I hate this game. Gyro Ball does like nothing. Oh, oh, That's ugly. That's ugly. We're doing like no damage. We do like no damage. He's gonna end up going for another Skull. Can you go into my Bronzong, please? Don't get a burn. Bruh. Out my face. Uh, what do I do here? Another burn KOs me. Uh, huh.
Hmm. I guess I'll put Pelipper to sleep. I guess we'll go that way. I guess we'll go that route. And we'll go for a bull punch for the KO on that as well. Hopefully Zoomer doesn't protect. He's probably looking to go for Aqua Jet. Well, we are in Trick Room, so he might go first. Zoomer will protect. Biscuit. You Biscuit. So he's going to go for a bull punch. I think that this uh, burn is going to take us out, right? This burn going to take us out. We go for Hypnosis, which we land, which is pretty good. But still, I don't like where we're sitting. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Pelper's gonna be slumped. Can you eat this up, Scissor? I don't think you can eat up this burn. 12 HP, yeah, it's gonna do it. <gasps> we get a free sash here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Gyro ball, flying. This thing's sash. We, we, we take off sash. And then we just pull a punch here. So I can pick up a KO before we go out. That could be big time, but he might end up swapping a Zoomerel. I don't know. Unless he lands a double protect. Please don't land a double protect. He withdraws Zoomerel. That's a smart play. That's fine. And who are you gonna go into? You know what? Okay, Tauros. I would rather punch into this Tauros. That's fine by me. I'll punch up in this Tauros. Oh, and he intimidates me. How dare you, Tauros? My opponent's playing really good in this battle. Playing really, really good. But we go for a nice lovely bull punch. Still plus one. Should still be able to do a nice chunk, which it does. We love it. And we get a crit. Wow. And now I go out and do the life one. That's totally fine. Pelper should still be asleep. And we are going to throw a nice little gyro ball over onto his slot. Right into that giant bill. That beak bill, whatever you want to call it. He's huge. So he's still asleep. We're forced to bring out Gyarados, and it kind of stinks because the rain stops when we bring out our Gyarados. The rain is going to stop when we bring out our Gyarados. So I bring out my Gyarados. Um, what do I do here? I could play the sleep game. Start going for sleeps. Could start going for sleeps, but a teammate's going to fire. I would love to pop a Dragon Dance. I feel like we need a Dragon Dance here. I'm going to go for the Hypnosis. I'm going to say screw it. Actually, or do I go Gyro Ball? I'm gonna start teeing off damage onto him and just Dragon Dance from here. We need a nice little Dragon Dance on the Gary. We need a Dragon Dance. If we wanna win this battle, we need a Dragon Dance on the Gary. Only way. Only possible way we win this battle. Well, let's see what he does. He might even protect the Taurus. Thinking we're going for Hypnosis? Okay, he doesn't. So Dragon Ball's gonna fire. Do oh, so almost picks up the KO, which could've been big. Pelper wakes up. He's gonna go for the U-turn. He's gonna pivot out for my bronze on. That's totally fine. So you're gonna bring in here back out as a room? Maybe possibly? Play options. Definitely options. And that's fine because we are getting able to, or we are going to be able to set up this dragon dance, which is gonna be pretty big for us. He's gonna send out Raichu. Okay, so Raichu coming out here. Um Huh. Dragon Dance is gonna fly, and I feel like I just had to protect the uh I feel like I have to protect the Gyarados next turn and knock off Focus Ash if he has it. Wait, that's gotta be my play. I'm gonna go for scary face and slow down my Gary. Oh, how dare you, dude. Come on now. You didn't have to do all that. You didn't have to do all that. I mean, Trick Room might be a play then. Trick Room into Protect? I feel like I have to. I feel like it's a must. I feel like we have to Trick Room with the speed down the slow and then double down on Raichu. Hmm. Trying to figure out a way that we can make this happen. And I feel like if we could pop this Trick Room and his Raichu goes into my Gyarados slot here, we could get some work done. Yep. Okay, cool. I'm all about that because I could double down on Raichu next turn. That's how slow I am. Then Headbutt's going to... Oh, we dodge it. Woo! Love it. Okay, so Trick Room's back out. We have to double down on Raichu at this point. We are both slower, so we're both going to be faster in the Trick Room. If I had to guess, this thing is definitely Focus Ash. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to Waterfall. I feel like Bronze is still slower, right? I think Bronzong's still gotta be slower than Gyarados, which we ah, we don't need it, but yeah, it really don't matter the order here. Because if Gyarados goes first and Raichu is Focus Ash, we'll probably bring down a Focus Ash. But then if it, if Bronzong goes first and it is Focus Ash, then it will just take off the Focus Ash. So it's no it's no problem. It is no problem. So we're gonna double down on Raichu. You might end up swapping the Tauros at some point. No, he withdraws Raichu. Ooh. Going into who? Azumarill? Paloops! Okay, so you're setting up the rain for me. Thank you. I'll take the rain. I'll take the rain all day. We have that Tauros minus one, which is pretty good for us. And Tauros? Oh, Tauros protects that turn. Yo, we like this. We like this because we're just double down into that this slot right here. So we go for that. I'm going to Gyro Ball and take out the Tauros next turn. That's my plan. Get rid of him. And we're not sitting We're not sitting in a bad spot, yo. We get some nice damage off there. And maybe another one might be able to KO. But Gyro Ball into you. What would do more damage? I guess I might do more. What would do more damage? Stab? 
I know it's normally. I know it's not very effective. Um. So this gets half, right? This will do 40 plus the stab. I think Ice Fang might do more. This is neutral. Actually, no. I don't think it would. I don't think it would. But we're we're we're, we're testing theories right now. Ice Fang is just base 65 on a dot. I think Waterfall might do a little bit more because it's stabbing in the rain. Which we probably should have went for. But he goes for a U-turn. And he's going to swap into here. Azumarill or... What was his other Pokemon? Raichu. I actually kind of hope he goes into Raichu here. <laughs> hope he goes into Azumarill. And I think he brings out Raichu next turn too. We're going to go for Ice Fang into Azumarill. Chip up some damage. And we'll go from there. Okay, so... uh. I don't think I protect the Gyarados. I think we just double down on Raichu. I mean, he can fake me out if he wants, but... I just think it's an absolute must double down on Raichu. Raichu is a problem. Definitely a problem. And our Bronze has been here a while. This is a solid battle. Let's go into distance. It's going to distance. He's going to fake out my Bronze I'm cool with that. Might Aqua Jet me, right? He's going to go for Aqua Jet into Gyarados? No, into Bronze on, who soaks pretty well. And I flinch, that's all good. Waterfall's gonna fly. I'm gonna do some nice damage on that. And it's not Sash. It is not Sash. That's a big time KO. I think he thought I was protecting. He definitely thought I was protecting, but I'm just outplaying at this point. Pelper's gonna come out here. Yo, this is a solid battle. And I think we try to put the Zoomer out of sleep. He try to put the Zoomer out of sleep. And okay, so Ice Fang does 65 damage regardless. It's not stab, it has nothing, blah, blah, blah. Waterfall is going to be not very effective. It's going to go down to 40. It's going to be stab. I think it's a 20 boost plus rain. I think Waterfall does a bit more damage. You guys got to let me know in the comment section down below if I'm right or wrong here. Zoomerel goes for the Aqua Jet. It's my Bronzong. Bronzong's going to soak. Can we land his hypnosis? We miss it. Or he dodges it. That's a little hurtful, but it'd be like that. Skull's going to come through it. Skull picks up the KO. Can I pick up the KO here? If I can pick up the KO here, this could be big. This could be big. KO this thing. Let's go. We're down to a 1v1 here. We are down to a 1v1. I outspeed. He has Aqua Jet. That's fine. Oh, actually, now I... Ah, uh, do I outspeed at this point? I don't know. But still, I'm just gonna go Waterfall. Water v. Water. He probably has Play Rough, which is kind of scary. But I wonder who's faster here. I'm faster. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Waterfall comes through here, and he has to KO me here if he wants to win. Actually, he doesn't. He does not have to KO me here. He might win. Oh, rain stop. That's big. The rain stopping might have just won me this battle. See, he's got he's to kill me with an Aqua Jet. And I think maybe we could soak up an Aqua Jet. I played off did some damage. Aqua Jet comes through. Can we soak this? Gyarados, I love you. I love you. What a third and final battle. Amazing comeback from us. And we go two and one for today's video, which is absolutely amazing. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a winning record with this Spear Tomb team. I absolutely loved it. The first battle, we got to showcase it to its fullest potential in the Trick Room. Second battle, we ended up losing. Then third and final battle, we got back out the Spear Tomb and had an amazing comeback with that Gyarados. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.